Hey guys, welcome to Reds Projects. This episode, I thought I'd just give you a little update on the Navara and um, some of the parts I've got lined up for it. And then towards the end, we'll have a look at, have a bit of a look at this motor, do a compression test and see if it's in good shape. Um, the last, last week, I think, um, like you, you know that the virus had a dead cylinder for a little while, it started smoking a lot. So um, on desal and idling for a little while, you take off, it blow a lot of smoke. So I've stopped driving it for now because I think either it's either glazed up that cylinder or um, it's broken another ring or something else. So I've I've stopped driving it for now. It's it's got to the point where it's it's smoking a lot. So. Yeah, I don't want to get an EPA or anything like that or draw attention to myself more than I am. So I'm not driving it for the moment. So until I get this motor sorted and in, um, yeah, I'm not driving it. I'm driving other cars. So um, that's pushed aside. I'll show you a quick video of it smoking. It doesn't quite do it justice, but um, just free revving it. But when you're actually driving it, it does smoke a lot. Okay, so before it starts smoking, I did get some more goodies for this thing. Got another muffler for it to try and quieten it down. Um, I was going to make a pipe to go over the diff. I got a, a V-band so I can make it in another section. Um, have a go over the diff and have this at the back. And then just have a, a 45 going down. As well as that, I got going to put a fake cat on it. Because um, yeah, where I live, no cats is a is a big fine. So I make up a fake cat to put on it. So this is the same pipe I'm using for my exhaust. So I'll just chop it, slide it on, weld it, and it'll look like a cat. So at least I got half a chance of getting away with it. Uh, well as that, I got a, a pressure switch. So this one's adjustable, you take that little rubber rubber cap off, got a little rub screw in there, you can set the pressure for it. It's got normally open, normally closed terminals, so I can get rid of um, a relay I had to put on for the oil pressure switch I'm using. But I can dial this in for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 psi, whatever I want to have it come on at, I can do that. But what I really want to do is use these injectors I got from the the wreckers the other day. So these are SR20 non-turbo injectors. They're about 270 cc, 250, 270, something like that. And what I want to do, you can see the top. It's got like a little plate on it, and it's got four little holes. They put them on there to um, regulate them bring the flow down and um, have them consistent and not a nicer spray pattern and stuff. What you can do is take it to a linisher or a bench grinder and just grind them on an angle like that. And what you end up with, try again. What you end up is an injector like that called decapping injectors and I've seen people do it on LS engines I've seen people do it on a lot of engines and it roughly doubles the size of the injector so if this one was a 250 270 whatever they flow then this one's going to be 450 to 550 so if that works then that, that's going to be as big as, as big as an injector I'm going to need so I've got like um, 12 of these injectors now, I collected a few of them. This one's, I broke getting out, so I won't use this one, but I've got about 12 of them. So I'm gonna decap them all and take them to an injector place and get them cleaned and flowed. And um, I'm just gonna pick the best six that 
that flow the best. They'll flow the most um, even, so they match each other really well. And I'll put those in and run those. And I'll have a few spares probably. So, going to use decapped SR20 injectors. I'm going to put this Warbro. Uh, where is it? It's a GS. GS341, you probably can't see that, but this was the fuel pump that was in my XR6 for a while before I went to a surge tank. So I'll put that in, that'll be that side of it done. Um, I'm going to put a water methanol kit on it. So, because I don't have an intercooler, I'm, I'll put that on as well. And then I'm going to put a, get my computer rechipped with a, a Niztune chip, chip in it. So I can adjust timing, I can adjust fuel, uh, I can do a whole lot of stuff. Like you can even do a, set up a two-step on it as well. So that that's the ultimate goal is to water methanol, bigger injectors, bigger fuel pump, Niztune, and it should make a lot more power, run a bit more boost, a lot more, uh, run, more timing and more timing off boost so it will drive a lot better and um, that should pick up a lot more power but that's my plans anyway oh and another thing I got got some new wheels for it so I'll quickly just grab those and I'll show you them okay so this is the standard Navara wheel it's a 14 by 6 it I normally have a 185 or a 195 light truck tire on them um, I've got two sets of these wheels, so what I did was I got I got a pair of them made into 15 by 8s That's what this guy is So we put them side by side See how wide this guy is So two inches wider one inch taller 14 by 6 15 by 8 and Once I go on the car, you probably won't notice that Got 14s on the front, 15s on the back. And so this is a 185 tire. This is gonna be my front tires. I'm just going to paint these wheels silver to match them. On the back, I'm gonna run either a 235, a 245, or a 255 tire. So I'll see what fits in the guards. Bigger the tire, the better. More traction, the better. But yeah, it's something interesting I got done not long ago. So I'm gonna take the the Hummer wheels off. I've got 18 inch um, Hummer wheels on the moment. I'm going to take them off, put these on just because they look look a bit more standard. And with the wide tire on these back ones, it should get good traction. So I think that's a, that's that's all for the updates. We're um, going to get a battery and do a comp test on this motor and check a few things and see if it's worthy of going in. Okay, so it appears my compression test is no good. So I'm gonna borrow a compression tester from work and I'm gonna check all the cylinders again tomorrow night and I'll add that onto this video. So I'll see you tomorrow night. Okay guys, welcome back. It's the day after and I bought myself a new compression tester. So I'll get this out of the packet, redo them all, write them down and um, see how we go and get through this quickly because I've got some videos to edit and a whole bunch of other crap. What's that? 150, 3 200 
Still on the five. What's that one? One sixty five. Cylinder two, two hundred and five. Cylinder four, one fifty. Cylinder six, one eighty five. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So if we compare the old motor to the new one, like I mean the lowest on this one is still ballpark in here, so some are a little bit higher, but they're all healthy, so I've got no issues with this motor now. Just tidy up a few things and drop it straight in. Alright, well that's about it for this episode. We found out this motor is good, got decent compression, so I can put this straight in. Um, I just have to get the snapped exhaust studs out. I want to take the front cover off, check the timing belt as well. And besides that, it's pretty much ready to drop in. I just have to um, save up for a clutch because I'm getting a, a nice XED button clutch for it because the clutch that's in is now starting to slip under boost. So. Might as well get a decent clutch and not have to worry about it. So I'm just saving up for that and I'll tidy this thing up and then swap it all over. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.